Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill. and Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And, you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? A look at the starting group for the Pelicans. Here's Jordan over Ingram. Here's the natural. Knocks down the triple. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's Mullen. Pass to the wall. Here's Mullen from the arc. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Three oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways. Get out of the way! Oh, wow! This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Monk passes to Mullen. They set the pick. From downtown. The rebound by the natural. For Virginia Beach, they've gone two of three from the floor. Here's the mayor. And the layup falls. The mayor's gotten his second bucket. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition. And that helps get the rhythm going. Bird passes to the mayor. Pass to Bird. Monk with a steal. And it's the Pelicans on the break. Oh, oh hey, how about that? That's impressive. And a two-handed jam. And Ingram and his court awareness continue to grow a terrific dime there. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam cam. And look at it, Brandon Ingram's game, Brent. A lot of similarities to Kevin Durant. Yeah, most of that B.A. comes with the build-out, right? Just a slender guy who can get the job done offensively. But this guy can... Conscious of the disbursement of minutes in the first game? You know, they have an idea of the total number of minutes they want their superstar in over the two-day period. But it really comes down to how this first game goes. Looking to win the run. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate them. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Here's the natural. And he bangs it home with one hand. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. On target from range. McCollum's got his second basket of the night. Well, McCollum just catching the defense asleep right there. I don't know why you would be. CJ such a devastating score. Playing from behind. It's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. 123 left in the first quarter here. No good on the three. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And he lost his man with a shifty play inside. And then just went and hammered it home. Wow. Williamson looking around. The three is up. Drains the triple. Give him eight points now. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Here's Bird. Deflected. And it's McCollum penetrating. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Well, as his confidence grows, McCollum gets himself into attack mode, and that's where his game goes to another level. Beautiful drive by the young Phenom. Pass to Bird. 
We've got 22 seconds left in the first. That one goes. Count it. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Here's Mullen. Puts up a three. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. For three, McCollum knocks down the long J. McCollum's got 11 points. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this... Pluckins. Pass to the wall. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. And count that! Two points and a chance for one more at the line. House and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. The mayor, good. That's pretty much not how they run to bend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow him out there. Here's Mullen. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could... Of course, there's the Pelicans. Now seven and a half games back. Checking out the Pelicans. It's really been uh, an intriguing year for them. I mean, they work hard, they play gritty, but they're just so inconsistent. I just think if you're on the other side, how much are you looking at that team and saying, we're scared of them? So not a lot of fear from the opposition and what they're bringing to the table. They're good, they compete, but... Do they have that extra gear? I'm not sure. Here's the mayor. Oh, he buries the 20-footer. The mayor's got seven points for the quarter. New Orleans has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. From deep three-point land. The shot by the wall, no good. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. here the second quarter of action just a hair under two and a half minutes played back home to host the Miami Heat some might look at this schedule and already mark off how many wins they'll get but I think that's a mistake you can never take a night off in the NBA even the ones you think will be easy are tough a moment to hear from Ali LaForce Zion Williamson is a one-man wrecking crew inside. His coach, Willie Green, said, quote, it's incredible. His touch when he gets down to the lane with two, three guys hanging on him, and he's still somehow able to find the glass. And he does a great job of finding his teammates as well. And, Brian, let's not forget about those dunks either. Oh, definitely not. That's the show. Thanks, Allie. And the three is good, and the accountability from the officials. Brad, you think they have a point? Well, players often ask refs to explain calls. So they also want some clarity from the league whether the refs got it right. And that information oftentimes can help them make the proper adjustments moving forward. Here's Bird. Oh, yes, sir. my goodness. Oh, man. A ridiculous slam. <laughs> that was nice. That is a throwdown. He wasn't satisfied just laying it up. He had to put something extra on it. I can't believe what we just saw right there. And <laughs> this can deflate the other team. They need to answer back strong. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. And he banks in the layup. He's got six. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And it's Williamson with the ball for New Orleans. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. I'll tell you what, once things started to go downhill, their performance plummeted. They wound up getting pretty ugly. Yeah, it felt like just the entire roster was stuck in neutral. There was nobody offensively that could get anything going. Here's Bird. And the three-pointer goes. Bird's got nine. For New Orleans, they've gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. The ball's knocked loose. Here's Jordan. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. And the Pelicans making a change here. New Orleans has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Tries a 10-footer. A nice shot by Mullen. 
And the Pelicans lead by 11. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Well, he made some kind of adjustment to his game after a poor first half. He's been impressive shooting the ball during the second. Daniels passes to Monk. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Virginia Beach is gone. Five of six from three-point land so far. The natural. Sinks another one. He's on a roll. Starting four for four. Sometimes you like to see guys go with the bounce pass, threading it through there perfectly. Spins. Puts up a deep three. Can't sink it. Fourth miss out of nine attempts. Pass to the mayor. That's two fouls in as many quarters. He may have to adjust his approach now. Brandon Ingram is checked in for Daniels. Checking in for New Orleans. Number 14, Brandon Ingram. A minute 35 left in the second quarter. Here's the mayor. Ooh, powered down with both hands. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that, that is what every team wants. I like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. One fourteen left in the first half of this one. Out to the right wing. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got 21. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. That is what I'm talking about. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. Two points. That one goes. Mullins got 18 points in the game. Well, this is a gravity game right now. Whatever he throws up must come down. He's having a great game. The mayor passes to Bird. And he jams it home with authority. Putting some extra juice on that tomahawk, fellas. No one is going to stop that. Man, when he's coming in with that level of force, that's just too much right there. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Fires from deep. Another three for New Orleans. Solid in the first. Fantastic here in the second. He was just waiting for the moment. Out to the wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Jordan. Oh, hits the outside fadeaway. He has seven. He didn't need to fade back. No one in his face, but he buried it anyway. And so it's New Orleans leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. And it's Bird in a shooting guard. That's Jason Kidd's five as we get into the second half. Count it good. This arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. Pass to the wall. Covered by Jordan. Here's the wall. The rebound by the natural. The natural's got four rebounds now. To the paint. Drops in the layup for two. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Pass to the wall. Covered by Jordan. It's deflected. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. It's stolen. The three buries it from three. 27 points for him. 
You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three point shooters in the league. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Back to Ingram. You got a piece of it. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. That's a flagrant one foul. He might be lucky just to get a flagrant one there. Lots of contact. One more flagrant of any kind, and he's out of this game. And he makes both free throws. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. And the Pelicans making a change here. Williamson's checked in. Oh, 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 impressive! Oh, wow. VA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. Alley oop up top, hammer it home. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Out left to the wing. Fires the three. The natural gets the bucket. The natural's got 12. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. The Pelicans have gone two of five in this third quarter. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Mullen. Outside for Ingram. Let's the three fly. He drops it from range. Pass to Mullen. Out to McCullum. There's the three. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Bird. Nice follow through on the fadeaway. He's got 13. It's been a perfect start coming out of the half. I mean, you have to really love the execution. Mullen, pass to Ingram. Oh, Jordan with the block. And that one good. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. At least in the second half they have been. The first half wasn't played anywhere near this intense. Now McCullum, 17 points in the game. To the inside, pass to Mullen. It's intercepted! And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Zion Williamson is doing his homework. He said, quote, I watched a lot of old school players and I tried to figure out their mindset basketball. I want them to say he was a winner. Guys, he's on his way. So true. Thanks, Allie. The baseline, Jay. And he connects with a jumper. Mullins got 20. Virginia Beach has got six of seven threes to fall. They're looking solid out there. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. New Orleans has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Here are some of the best. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Bird's got 15. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. To the middle. Here's McCollum. And McCollum slams it in. Yeah, I wish McCollum would sell microwaves because I'd buy one. That's what he does. He heats up in a hurry. Mayor, good. The mayor's got four points in the quarter. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. McCullum outside. Outside Ingram. Knocks it loose. Pass to the mayor. Now Jordan. Here's Bird. 
15 points in the game. <laughs> I just love that alley oop slam. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Down low. Here's Williamson. Oh, Williamson throws it down. Yeah, so fun to watch him get fancy on any finish. Zion again to the rack. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. That's to Bird. Basket counts. He's got 27. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. The Pelicans trail. Now here's McCollum. Inside, here's Mullen. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Incredible. It sometimes falls to the point guard to be the offensive catalyst. Seems like he always knows when his squad needs a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. Well, this team did something in halftime, going from a mild-mannered half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. To the inside. Two on the clock. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? What a tough PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And so it's Virginia Beach. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. Back after this. Pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. So for the Pelicans right now, we've got Dyson Daniels, also C.J. McCollum out there, Zion Williamson out there with Malik Monk. Here's Jordan, and denied! He sends it right off the glass. Monk for three. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Come on now. This kind of powerful finish gets guys going. Yeah, especially when it's coming from your point guard. What a flush. Yeah, great read. Calls his own number and then sends it home. Putting on a shooting clinic from deep. He had that huge first half, and he's still rolling. Outstanding move in the lane. Just enjoy that one at home, folks. No doubt, with some huge elevation on the finish. There's Daniels. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. Daniels has gotten himself going here. His first point to the game on the deep ball. Pass to Jordan. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. And it'll... to the free throw line. Trey Murphy just about automatic. Here's the mayor. And he dunks it down. Wow. That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point. Or maybe even a question mark. Here's McCollum. Oh, he can't miss. Eight for eight after that shot. I feel like when CJ gets a couple of these to go, it accentuates his ability and confidence to score from the outside as well. Here's the mayor. Oh, a terrific shot on the turnaround. The mayor's got 28 points for the game. Guys, he can't miss. I swear, he was trying to miss that. He did not miss. That means he can't miss. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Virginia Beach has gotten seven of eight three-pointers to go in this game. He takes it in. Oh, oh man. Oh! And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. 
Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Pass to Mullen. Picked by Williamson. Pulls up. And the Pelicans get another bucket right there. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. And he's going for the oop here. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Pass to Bird. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. He's been a piece of the puzzle tonight, but it's a team effort. Everyone's contributing to this lead. For Virginia Beach, they've gone seven of eight in this fourth quarter. And he goes in for the dunk. I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. New Orleans has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. New Orleans calls timeout. Ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. The Pelicans making a switch here. Monks checked in. Outside Ingram. The three is up. The rebound by the natural. The natural's got his fifth rebound in this one. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. The Pelicans making a switch here. Williamson's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And for the Pelicans, they're shooting 69%. I think they're even surprising themselves out there. Here's the mayor. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Down low. Here's the wall. And he throws it down with one hand. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. Ingram with the double team. Over to the wing. Jordan, a good look. Cans it, but nobody near him. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. A minute 50 left to play in the fourth. I'll tell you what, it's good to be his age. Yeah, I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> the mayor, good. The mayor's got 39. This whole second half, he's been unbelievable scoring the basketball. The defense has had literally no effect. Got it. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Virginia Beach has gotten seven of eight three-pointers to go in this game. To the middle. It's tipped. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. 33 points for him. New Orleans has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Mullen, pass to Monk. Left side Ingram. Tipped! Here's the natural. Monk covers. Pass to the mayor. Tries to spin move. Into the lane. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, oh, he got his wow. timing down. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. Fires high post. And the jumper is good. The Bears got 43 points. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. Yeah, huge motivation. Always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Larry Nets Jr. Herbert Jones. Dyson Daniels. 
Here's Mullen. It's hauled in by the mayor. It's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. Yeah, that one's good. The mayor's got 45 points. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. And so the home crowd treated to a win. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, 